and the opportunity to get closer to God in different ways each year. It's not the same thing every time. There's always going to be a different twist or a curve there. So Doug is really the perfect youth leader for like our group. So he's really good at empathizing with kids, uh, talking to them, making conversation with them, even though he's like 40 years older than us. So it's kind of it's kind of cool seeing that. Uh, like I, I'm able to sit in the canoe with him when we're paddling and just talk to him about whatever. I mean, more contemporary stuff, older stuff. He's got a lot of great stories to tell that sort of uh, put lessons into perspective, stuff that tie in ties into the faith-based learning that we're doing on these trips. Nature definitely plays a big role in it because that was the main thing last year for me. It was like seeing God in this more natural setting. You see God through what He's created rather than what you're doing. So it's seeing God through what He's done rather than the works that we were doing in previous trips, which is kind of cool. I was sort of thinking about this as the symbolism, like the camp is called Wilderness, and you know, Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days, so it's sort of like a similar aspect, is you're removing all the temptation in your life, you're getting rid of your phone, you're getting rid of your uh, possessions, and you're going there, and you're just sort of trying to find different ways to come close to God, be that through group work, or through um, like seeing, the na seeing nature, going through a, a really tough portage, canoeing, anything like that. Uh, doing even work on the campsite, it's a lot of different ways to try and find uh, a closer relationship with God.